Welcome back to Screen Sleuths. As usual, I'm Chris, and we meet again for another Dark Matter deep dive. Now, in this video, we will cover episode eight, but it's not gonna be a recap. You already know what happened, and you don't need me to tell you again. This video's goal is to clear up any confusion about why and how it all happened, what may happen in the finale, and how quantum convergence may put the genie back in the bottle. So if all that sounds up your alley, or you're just totally confused and need help, Stay tuned, we'll figure it out together. First, let's address the Jasons in the room. Which Jason is which? Well, it doesn't matter. Now hold on, because you may be thinking, Chris, how could it not matter? Because outside of Jason Prime, which is the Jason that we meet in the first scene of the first episode, and of course, Evil Jason, all the other Jasons are just variants of Jason Prime. So which number Jason killed which, which was the driver of which car in the accident, it's all irrelevant. The only versions that are relevant are Jason Prime and Evil Jason. But why is that? How are there so many Jasons and why is Evil Jason unique from all the other variants? Well, in order to explain, we need to quickly talk about the Many Worlds interpretation by Hugh Everett because that's what the show is based on. This interpretation states that for every choice made, another equally real you and reality where you made a different choice now exists which would be the same up until that decision point when the branch reality was initially created. And this process would happen over and over and over, spawning infinite versions of you and different realities in them. Jason 1 references this at the bar when talking to the other Jason by saying that up until the kidnapping, which was the branch point, they had the same loves, thoughts, beliefs, etc. Now, this is no longer the case because by that point, they each had their own unique experiences by traveling the box. But up to the kidnapping branch point, they had the same history. And to be clear, as of right now, I think that Jupiter Jason is Jason Prime. But as I watch the show more and more, my opinion may change. But as of now, based on what I see and what I know, I consider Jupiter Jason to be Jason Prime. Now, I'm sure there's a few of you that disagree with me, and I really want to hear why in the comments. You might change my mind. This show is all about the small details. So bring them on, put them in the comments. But as of now, when you hear me talk about Jason Wan or Jason Prime, Jupiter Jason is the Jason that I'm talking about. But I want to quickly address a question that I see pop up all the time. Why are the realities they visited so different? How could any of the decisions Jason or Amanda made make that big of an impact? It's because not every reality they visited was different because of their choices. The Jason and Amanda in that reality may have been different because of someone else's choices. The only criteria to visit a reality was that that version of Jason and Amanda had to have existed there for at least a second. So let's use the money Daniela finds in Evil Jason's storage unit as an example. And what we see is a very different U.S. currency, one featuring Bobby Kennedy, which was JFK's brother implying that in this reality, Bobby Kennedy may not have been assassinated and become president. This significant difference may have changed the world that that Jason and Amanda grew up in, influenced their choices, the people that they met, and the lives that they lived. Now, Jason Prime and Amanda could visit that reality, and it would be different, but not directly because of any decision that either of them had made. Okay, but why is Evil Jason different from the other Jason variants? Because he didn't spawn from Jason Prime's box travel. Evil Jason is from a branch reality where his career decision was the branching point. He is the Jason from another equally real reality, not a variant of the current Jason Prime reality. In short, there is a single Jason missing from Evil Jason's reality, the one that we call Jason 2. Whereas these Jason Prime variants may not have a prime reality of their own because of how they respond. They were not pulled from another established reality like Jason Prime or Evil Jason. Their home base may essentially be the box. Which is why figuring out which Jason did what in Episode 8 is not really important. However, it is fun to watch and it does illustrate the potential consequences of interdimensional travel. And if you're thinking, Chris, that means there would be a never-ending quantum factory cranking out Jasons. Well, you're right. There are an infinite number of Jason variants that were created during the travels of Jason Prime, Evil Jason, and all the variants, which just made more and more variants. 
But this is a TV show, so there is a limit to how much they're going to show and how much they're willing to tackle this deep of a concept in the plot. Now, with the mayhem broken loose in town, how do they close Pandora's box? Well, we could see what's called quantum convergence. Since these Jasons all share the same root reality, if Jason Prime and multiple variants were to enter the box together and go into superposition, these versions may converge, intertwining their experiences, their memories, and existence. In this situation, all of the Jasons would in a way end up being part of the reality that they've all been hunting for. Multiple Jasons would go in, a single Jason Prime would come out. With that said, there is always the option that Amanda, Charlie, and Jason Prime use the ampules found in Evil Jason's storage unit, which there's about 50 or so left, escape this reality, and seal off the box better than last time in whatever reality they decide to stay in. Either way, the next episode will be a wild ride, and hopefully we see some resolution for the Ryans. I know everybody likes Ryan, and he's been getting a raw deal the whole time. But I have a feeling that our Ryan, Ryan Prime, who I think was left in Amanda's utopian reality from last episode, may make another appearance. The two ampules left in the purse last time and the fact that I think they're in the same reality lends itself to that plot point happening. But with one episode left, it could just be me and some wishful thinking. And that will wrap up this deep dive. As usual, we really want to hear what your thoughts and theories are, no matter how wild and crazy they may be. And if you like what we're doing, please take a minute to like and subscribe in as many realities as you can as tribute to the almighty YouTube algorithm. Until next week, stay sleuthy.